What is up, YouTube? Frost the Hobbit in here, and we are going to look at a death battle from Screw Attack. Android 18, aka Lazuli, versus Captain Marvel from the Marvel Universe. Wow, this is going to be an interesting battle. I'm, I'm a little. I'm a little unsure about this because after seeing Dragon Ball Z's track record in death battle, Goku, Majin Buu, they, Goku died twice again. They died, yeah. Only ones that win are actually Vegeta, um, Hercule, and, hold on, let me see what I'm thinking. Hercule, Vegeta, I think those are about it. Maybe I don't know. This might be an, I might be missing another death battle, but let's not worry about that. Anywho, I'm I'm not gonna I'm I'm not gonna be sure who's I'm not gonna be sure, but I'm 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 going to I'm I'm a Dragon Ball Z fan, and Dragon Ball Z characters have been losing a lot in death battles, but putting up a a DBC fighter against a, a comic book character, you know the comic book character is going to win because they has done more than the anime for years. Ridiculous stuff. So, you know what? I don't even care anymore. Let's just start this battle. I don't mind. I don't know who... I don't mind. If 18 wins, that's good. If, if Captain Marvel wins, I don't mind. All I know is there's going to be a lot of DBZ fans that are going to be upset. Without further ado, let's get let's get let's get started, shall we? In three, two, one, go. Sloth, pizza, chaos. Okay. This uh, is Battle Sloth 2025: The Great Pizza Wars. The all-new twin stick shooter from Rooster Teeth Games. Customize your sloth with over a thousand unlockable hats. Then step into the arena and battle for pizza and glory. This is a weird game. Modes, Twenty different weapons, a variety of maps. Sloth pole dancing? Battle Sloth has something for everybody. Available now on Steam for PC, Mac, and Linux. Just click the okay. link in the description below and make sure you choose the boomstick hat. Is that Eminem singing? It sounded like Eminem singing. Alright, let's get started. I love a powerful woman. Even better, Nobody woman keeps getting stronger and stronger. And today we've got two of them. Android 18, the deadly cyber from Dragon Ball. And Captain Marvel, the hard-hitting, high-flying Avenger. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Oh, in 2D. All right. 18 in the age first. 763, peace had returned to the earth. Unsung heroes, led by the Super Saiyan Goku, had saved the world from an evil galactic tyrant. Everything seemed pretty hunky-dory until a mysterious time traveler showed up out of nowhere with a grave warning. In just three years' time... Oh yeah, Chunks, we know the story. And I know the, the story. Earth, all while wearing the mark of the long-forgotten Red Ribbon Army. Those this guys. sounds like it's gonna get complicated real fast. To be brief, the Red Ribbon Army was the greatest military force ever known. Even greatest, the most terrifying armed forces combined. Until a tiny monkey child most evil military force. Through and wreck their shit. Yes. Dr. Giro, founder and lead scientist of the Red Ribbon Army. Oh, that's... A grudge against oh god darn it, that old, that old man. Like any mad scientist hell-bent on revenge, the good doctor got back to doing what he did of course. best. Building murder bots. And so he designed some of his deadliest creations to date. Android 17 and Android 18. Though Android isn't entirely accurate. 17 and 18 were actually humans once. Cyborgs. So that makes them cyborgs, not androids. You'd think a doctor I mean, with both... Jero's prestige would know the difference. I'll just yeah, Jero's an idiot. Case of revenge madness. That happens to the best of us. Android 18's real name is Lazuli, which sounds like some sort Since of cyborgs, they can dish. make children. No wonder she kept the 17 even said that he had he made a child. Yeah, Android 18 and her brother were pretty unruly and a force to be reckoned with. Yep. Jero, even with his own cyborg body, didn't stand a chance. 
With nothing better to do, the twins set off to ravage the world as predicted. But this time, something changed. More like they want to have fun. Witnessing the compassion of the heroes, including a bald, vertically challenged martial artist named Krillin, Krillin. had a change of heart and joined the good guys. She even wound up starting a family with Krillin. Nice! Give it up for Krillin! Not only is he Krillin is the man. Bracket, but he's laying pipe above it as well. But I think it's unfair uh, putting 18 really in a age, death so battle in a death battle because she hasn't done Android much fighting. Is an extremely competitive fighter with numerous deadly abilities. She hasn't done Shiro's that much fighting because Akio Toriyama doesn't care about female characters that much. In Dragon Ball Z, now he does. Awareness. Now he does. Got you got Kale and Chloe. This chick can embed a person straight into the side of a cliff with a single smack. Or as long as 18 doesn't get the out of her hands. I've been forgotten she treatment, does this we're by good. Harnessing ki, a Taoist-inspired life force energy manifested through a person's spirit and vigor. With her ki, 18 can fire a barrage of energy beams powerful enough to destroy buildings, continents, possibly even planets. Like the finger beam. <laughs> Talk about getting finger blasted, am I right? No. Oh, you know no. you laughed. <laughs> Absolutely <not. laughs> Oh, that's Inside? so wrong. Ugh. Android 18 has dozens of other techniques, such as infinity bullets. I know what you're thinking, but it's not a magic gun with unlimited ammo. It's a stampede of energy blasts, which are nearly impossible to avoid. Her photon strike lays Unless waste you're Vegito, to a or... area in an instant. She can even use or her husband's signature technique, Goku the Black, or Disc. any other villains. It's a buzzsaw made of pure energy. Why don't more Dragon Ball characters use that thing? He is just as much a defense. That's what we wonder. Well. Krillin, get back on that. Speed and in Super, you are energy, getting back on it. So good. surpassing the limitations of her physical body. Oh yeah, and she can fly. Unlike most warriors, 18's energy supply stems from a sort of battery within. This system grants her a continuous and potentially endless supply of key. She'll never get tuckered out. In fact, one of her favorite combat strategies is wasting time to make her enemy exhausted, then moving in to finish it's him off. It's a good strategy. She's making him burn up all his energy and then she's going to attack him. Like many of Dr. Jiro's other That's androids, what, if they never run out of energy, energy, how come in every video game of Dragon Ball Z games body? Increasing her power and nullifying she, her opponents. So you can she has to gain her energy. She can the gain her. She, they won't like allow her Rocky to charge Balboa, up. Except, you know, way stronger. Oh, wait, I get it now. Never mind. Prettier. 18 is tough enough to deflect Goku's Kamehameha attack even while he's in Super Saiyan blue form. Also, to be fair, Goku was holding break back. Super Saiyan Vegeta's arm. What's so impressive about breaking an arm? You broke yours once just by falling out of your chair. Uh huh. You might have missed the Super Saiyan part there. Vegeta's extremely high key levels improve his body to support an impressive amount of weight. Leading up to the fight, yeah, Super Vegeta Saiyan was is very powerful. Times gravity, making his weight about 55,000 pounds. That means the tibia in his leg would be supporting over 40,000 pounds, the equivalent of eight pickup trucks. Damn, I wish I had bones like that. I could fire so many bazookas and never have to worry about falling down. On top of that, <laughs> she's able to use her constant that supply kinda of sounds like to fun. easily match the speed of a Super Saiyan. We've previously established that an ascended Super Saiyan can fly approximately 340,000 miles per hour. Oh, bringing up so past it's reasonable to believe death battles can do the same. Nah. Man, this key stuff is seriously awesome. Maybe I should start meditating or something. Do you even know how? Yeah, all I gotta do is get drunk and sit on the floor crisscross applesauce style. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Anyway, just like Vegeta, Android 18's key allows uh, her to boom survive stick. serious we love you. blows. She's even tanked the full brunt of a Super Saiyan key blast, capable of obliterating an entire building without a scratch. Can't say the same for that sweet-ass jacket. Man, 18 is awesome. Yeah. Awesome? Yes. Unstoppable? Not at all. Android 18 is unfortunately susceptible to a number of weaknesses, including her own programming. Fearing her unruliness, Jiro designed her with a remote shutdown system in place, one that both he and Krillin's friend Bulma were able to exploit. Wow, so this little thing will stop them, huh? On top of that, 18 has a reputation of being cold and apathetic. Although this is mostly just a guise, as she's always ready to defend her friends and family from threats. 
She even joined Goku, the man she was originally programmed to kill. Not really programmed, more like on saving the universe from was told what to do. It's safe to say the Super Saiyans are not the only blondes protecting the planet. Believe me, when she gets that look in her eye. But Future 18 is completely cold balls. and evil. This I is the 18 I'm we all know. Hard on you, but it's the only way you'll learn. All right, Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel has had many names in her career, but when she was born, she was simply Carol Danvers. Yep. Carol grew up in Boston and joined the Air Force. I wonder to what's her origin college. story going to be in the Marvel Cinematic the Universe. Of their ranks before moving they say they're the going to change it up a bit. Then she joined NASA. Damn, is her superpower just having really badass jobs? I wonder if she could give me a recommendation. <laughs> Working at NASA yeah. was pretty cool until aliens attacked. Of course. Carol got caught in the middle of a massive battle between the Kree aliens and a Kree superhero named Marvel, known to the world as Captain Marvel. Well, wait. Captain Marvel's secret identity is Marvel? Somebody forgot to read superheroes for dummies. <laughs> anyway, during the battle, Carol yeah. got stuck in a machine called the Cybertron. That's, her, that's his original design. I see where he exploded. went with the new modern her, style. This was one of those explosions that turns you into a superhero. The energy from the blast merged Carol's DNA with strands of Marvel's. She developed an extra Kree brain lobe and gained most of Marvel's powers, transforming her into a new dynamic superheroine. Hmm. Except she didn't even realize it at first. She'd just black out at random times and wake up to hear about a new suspiciously blonde superhero. Hey Wiz, maybe I have a superhero side like this. I mean, I black out all the time. Boomstick, you don't have powers. You have a problem. <laughs> Throughout her adventures, Carol uh... went through several phases of superhero titles. First Miss Marvel, then Binary, then Warbird, then Miss Marvel again, until one day, wow. Marvel That's a lot died. Of... Oh yeah. Here's to you, Marvel. To honor her Marvel, fallen friend, Carol Danvers took up his mantle, becoming the brand new Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel is unbelievably powerful with superhuman strength Indeed. and incredible durability. This is why I'm afraid why 18 is going to lose because comic book characters from the Marvel herself. Universe or DC, especially DC, Speaking of which, are overpowered. Time with the Air Force and as a member of the Avengers, and they have done some amazing years stuff. Of quality combat training. Not only can she hit hard, she can fire powerful concussive blasts of photon and Cosmic stellar energy, light energy from her hands, more powerful as than well key as energy create energy reason. fields. As if all that weren't enough, Carol can open up an extra can of whoop ass by absorbing energy. Absorbing and that's going to be a problem to magic can for 18. She can ex I'm going to say it right now. Her powers, ability to absorb Marvel energy some pretty amazing things. is what's going to be with the Avengers, a problem the for 18. The measured that she could deliver a force of 92 tons. Almost 10 times the destructive power of a Davy Crockett nuclear missile. She can Ouch. survive energy blasts to the face and even the vacuum of space for a long period of time. Once she flew from Broadway to the end of the atmosphere in only a minute and 58 seconds. That's a lot of ground She's faster. sky to cover in less than two minutes. She claims that's her personal record. Now, considering the distance between a she New York City faster, Street and the exosphere, course. Marvel must have been flying 247 times faster than the speed of sound. Carol has taken wow. out characters like Vision, punched Iron Man out of his armor, and even survived two point-blank blasts from the Destructor's beam, which has enough power to punch holes through an Imperial Kree starship. And that's not even the height of her power. Oh if Marvel absorbs enough energy, she can access the powers of binary, a form she took after losing her powers, getting lost in space, and being experimented on by aliens. Long story. As binary, in other she words, the Kree the are a bunch of, of douchebags. And generate star levels of energy. And her hair's on fire. Were you even listening? That's like the least interesting thing about it. Says you. Look at it. Binary was an extremely <laughs> powerful form, capable of wiping out yeah. entire fleets of enemy ships. But yeah, that's one that gonna Captain be her Marvel way does not have doing. easy access to. She what? initially lost the form after expending all of its energy, and is unable to reach it again without absorbing a massive amount of interstellar energy, such as the infinite energy from a gravitational field of a black hole singularity. She's too stubborn to just give up, though. She's stubborn to a fault, even rushing headlong into situations while ignoring advice is. from wiser, more experienced friends. Like the time she started a civil war between superheroes, or when she completely ignored her damaging addiction to alcohol. 
Ah, yeah, Carol is a badass with a hell of a lot of power. But if Tony Stark of all yeah. people thinks you have a drinking problem, you should probably listen to him instead of trying to yeah, fly Tony into Stark space saying, while completely wasted. Tony Stark quit drinking. Yeah. Regardless, Captain Marvel is a seasoned hero with a record that, that most Civil would be War was interesting. Of. Hell, she's such a pillar. She's named I'm after the publishing company that, itself. I'm kind of upset that um, Marvel Heroes of the game didn't give you the outfits for all new different Iron Man and Spider-Man outfits. That's the only thing I'm upset about, the all, all right, new the different Spider-Man and Iron Man outfits. Because I like that once and Earth, for all. that Mach 52 suit. For some scrumptious blue apron. Oh, come on, really? Now I'm a man who likes a good home-cooked meal. But going out to buy or hunt my own food is a hassle. If only really? there was some way food could be brought straight to me. This Introducing again? Introducing Blue Apron, the number one fresh food delivery service in the country. <sighs> Using only the freshest I'm gonna ingredients, I'm gonna try and Blue skip Apron this, guys. delivers a kit of ready-to-cook meals straight to your door, along with easy-to-follow instructions. Plus, the ingredients are perfectly proportioned, so it cuts down on waste, and you know you're using the right amount. Three, two, one, Not go. Okay, back to the fight. Oh, poor squirrel. Little squirrel. Oh. Is that a Dragon Ball? Dra once Get back! This orb is coming with me. Give me a break, lady. I've been looking for that thing all day. Don't make me hurt you. Yeah, good luck with that. Oh, it's the voice actor from Team Four Star. What does Captain Marvel want with a Dragon Ball? For experiments? For, for gun? For shield to use experiments on it? Okay, they're evenly matched for so far. That's all going to change when Captain Marvel really don't have time for increase. Hey! Oh wow, grab him by the hair. What a pest. No fair! That's playing dirty! Time to clean up then. <laughs> oh, she's absorbing it. Of course. Surprise! Thanks for the energy. Oh dear. 18, I hope you back it up. Back twice as hard. <laughs> yeah, we might want to move. Oh. I'm scared now. What? Surprise! I can do it too. Okay. Oh wow! She broke both her arms. No fair. I can still. Whoa! And that's that. Ouch! Now that's a crushing blow! Captain Marvel wow. may have been one of the Avengers' mightiest warriors, but she couldn't stand up to the impressive power, speed, and expertise of Android 18. I First take it up, back! The numbers don't lie. When it I'm kinda happy, 18 won! Not a, another dra a Dragon Ball Z character wins! Miles per hour, but 18 could move over 100,000 miles faster! Most apparent of all, Marvel's I forgot about that speed. Simply pale in comparison to the speed that she is the faster. The only way Marvel's power could match 18's was to absorb enough energy to reach her binary form. But 18 is no stranger to that technique. There's no doubt she recognized what Carol was doing and stopped feeding her energy. 
Even if Daryl had oh, somehow yeah. achieved the full force Can of binary, 18 actually that absorb energy? guaranteed a win. I mean, the last time we saw Binary in the comics, she was taken down by some alien guns. Guess she's not as good at absorbing energy as she thought. With superior speed, strength, huh, interesting. and endurance, Android 18 simply wore Captain Marvel down until it was time to go in for the kill. And that's why Captain Marvel lost by T.K.O. God, that one was awful. The winner is Android 18. Look like, like Krillin. Hey, don't go away. Like We're Krillin about to Like Krillin and Marin is gonna see the their moms episode tonight. Episode of Death <laughs> And if you want to see exclusive commentary on this Mary's episode, see click on the button over there and start Matt a first membership trial. Know. Helps us out a lot. Matt Krillin's mom, you know, you know what I mean. He's going to see his wife. Metal Sonic. Okay. Oh. Red and Metal Sonic. Wow. Oh. Okay. Uh, okay, we get to see Metal Sonic versus Red. I dig it. And what I meant to say, and what I meant to say was, Krillin's gonna see his wife. He's gonna see his wife tonight, <laughs> and Mera's gonna see his mother. He's gonna see her mother. Eight, congratulations, eighteen. You you won this death battle. This this was. I was surprised. I I they showed some information about eighteen. I didn't know she can absorb energy too. Interesting and some flaws that about Captain Marvel. I thought Captain Marvel's gonna win this to be honest because you know how comic book characters seems to have a have a thing of being showing some ridiculous stuff in their history. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna argue it. I I know a lot of fans are gonna be out there gonna be raging about it. I know a lot of DBZ fans are a little bit happy. Ah, uh, well, oh well. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this reaction video. Leave a comment down below. Go to the original video. You, I should have said, yeah, I should have seen the original video. If y'all, in the beginning, I kind of was uh, <laughs> a little too late for that, huh? I was going to start the reaction video early. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all have a great day. Take care. Be safe, like, comment, subscribe. What's your favorite parts about this episode? What y'all what do y'all thought? And most importantly, stay frosty.